All right, taking off on the Buck Creek Trail. This is basically in the corner of, it's on Burlingame, just north of 44th Street. So it's kind of on the corner of 44th and Burlingame. Um, just getting started here. There's a little parking lot. There are restrooms over there. Um, there's a little trail that kind of goes back in there. I think it's like a, not an official trail, but this here is the official trail. Right now it's pretty icy. It's Saturday morning about 8.30, late February 2016. And kind of thought this was going to be melting off by now, but it's still here. Um, this particular trail, again, this is a path because it's all cement. It's about a mile, it's slightly less than a mile each way. So if you want to walk the entire trail from Burlingame, kind of goes over to Byron Center to a park there. I can't recall the name of the park at this right now, but it goes into a park. Um, so it's a mile each way. There are little offshoot trails you can see even there. A lot of animal tracks kind of going back in that thing. Um, you can walk back in there, there's a river, it's called Buck Creek Trail, Buck Creek Nature Trail for a reason because there's Buck Creek is here. So um, we'll see that in a little bit here. But yep, this is it right now. We're walking. It's another one of those suburban, almost urban trails. It's their houses along it, but you wouldn't know you were so close to 44th and Burlingame in a busy area if you just you know, if you walk back here and you can't, the, the cars are not very loud, you can't hear them, but, but there are houses. Some houses are actually right next to the trail, so maybe get show a couple of those. There's a little school church deal over there. But right now, this trail, like I said, it's pretty icy. It's not snowy. It snowed a couple days ago, but see people have been down here. I just started so I'm walking down this middle section where everybody else is walking but it kind of it's pretty icy so I might step off to the side like some other people have been doing. There's a little pond in the middle of all this and as you can see there are there's the houses there that you can see the whole trail is not just full of houses like this but it's a nice little pond um, it's right next to the trail I don't know if there's any fish or anything in there, but I do see turtles and frogs and everything else when I come through here. Um, I don't know about today, but every time I've come through here, there's always been a, at least one deer that I see. Um, hopefully today's no exception, but I guess we'll find out. Three of these bridges that go over um, the little creeks and stuff that meander through here. This one is the second one so far on the trail. It's kind of the middle one, I guess, but it's kind of more towards the beginning of the mile. It's you have things to keep cars or whatever from going through, but just kind of neat. You can look down there at the water. Seems to be. Obviously not frozen over. This is just a little creek. This isn't Buck Creek. This is just um, one of the little kind of things that snake through. Well, Today is no exception. There is a a deer in there. They're not very afraid of people. They'll kind of stand right in there. You zoom out. Maybe I'll try walking in there a little bit and see if he has to run from me. Like I say, these things are in the middle of the city, so they don't have anything to bother them out here at all. Oh, no, he's running away. Leave him alone. There's a little bench like at the halfway point. Um, I cross from that bench there's a look there's that thing but there's somewhat of a path here obviously in the summertime you're gonna see it a lot better than this but 
There's people that have been back here. I think people fish out of here. I don't see too many of them, but. And Buck Creek is right back here. So we'll just walk back and take a look at it. Like I say, this, this trail is a little less than a mile long, but if you zip back in a couple of these little deals, I think you'll find that you'll get a mile in quite easily. So we'll just go back here and take a look. In the summertime, this is another one of those that's just loaded with people. When I got here, you saw there was only one kind of parking lot and that was mine. Um, you can start from this side too, at this park. So I did see a lady walking with her dog, but she was probably parked up here or possibly she lives down here in one of these houses or in this neighborhood because like right here's an example, there's a path right there that leads onto this path that just kind of goes up between a couple houses into the neighborhood. So people up there can just, you know, they can just walk on down and start walking. All right, there's our the trail we've been walking and now we're in the park. But if you want to get an exact two miles back and forth, you're gonna have to walk kind of up in there a little bit. There's a little trail that goes up that way. That kind of goes in the neighborhood too. A lot of people don't know this is not a loop. This is just a back and forth. You can make it a loop. Um, I've done it many times where I walk up here through this park, walk straight to Byron Center, go up Byron Center to 44th, 44th to Burlingame, back to the parking lot. But of course, that's a lot of city walking, cars, everything else. Not everybody likes that. I don't mind it once in a while. I like to hear really something to look at. But in the summertime, this park is open. In the wintertime, it's not open at all. There's, there's restrooms in that building there. There's also restrooms that were at the beginning as we came in. Um, Buck Creek is over on the right side now. And it looks like we're almost done. But with that little jog, I'd say probably a mile will be about to that building. I got my phone app set and met my walk to kind of keep track when it, it says every mile I walk. Distance. There she goes there. 29 minutes. 48 seconds per mile. 29 minutes. I feel good. But that's because I was stopping Take videos and whatnot. I don't really pay much attention to the my time. I just like to kind of know how far I walk and stuff. So since I've gone a mile, I can turn around before I usually do, but I'll keep rolling the next one. Like I said, there's Buck Creek again. almost time to turn it around. Alright, this is the end. And the car through the bushes there at the beginning of the trail. There's that little building at the beginning. But there's a little unofficial trail that goes behind this bathroom 
building here. So I'm just gonna scrape through the snow and get to it. Goes right back in here. And I'm kind of surprised I thought maybe more people would have come back here at some point, but we'll see, maybe there's some tracks. There's the restrooms, those for the season. And there's a couple people come back here. So here's the trail, and this leads back by the water a little better, by the creek. So it, it, it gets like closer, there's a little better views of the creek. I think a lot more people come back on this side Fishing just because it's closer. Oh, coming on the official trail, we gotta do some ducking. Ooh, that was exciting. Forest Street up that way, so if you wanted to make a loop out of it, you could. You want to come down that way. I'm talking about that loop I was talking about earlier. I just stick on the sidewalk over there, over there, Burnley Game. And that's the end. Head back to the car, I guess. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, I will do another one soon.